proud of us for uh, controlling the game. You know, of course they uh, they came back in the third quarter, but the, it's you know it's to be ex expected from a team like this, a contender. And uh, but we you know we we knew how to how to control the game, so that's good. Um, hard fought battle, and uh, yeah, I mean I mean it's just I feel proud because they're uh, they're a very good team, especially defensively. So it's uh, you know it just shows our progression. How fun was that with the you know the game going back and forth down the stretch and y'all win and then the crowd? Mm -hmm. How fun was that for you? I mean it's you know the, the crowd is kind of the sixth man in uh, in those situations because it's um, you know it, it, sometimes it, it it can feel like you know. Hitting against a wall, you know, when you score, they score, we score, they score, and uh, we go back and forth like this. It's, you know, we need any type of support we can get, and the crowd is. I think it's been four months since the first time you played the Knicks. Seems like forever ago. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> did you think about that at all today, and just how, like, how would you describe how far you've come since that point? Um, yeah, of course. I, I mean, I think. About you know the first time we played a team every night I think about it and uh, yeah the Knicks was a tough game for us and um, I would say a game that embodied all our uh, you know a lot of our weaknesses and that we've been able to erase a little bit you know throughout the season more and more so it's um, yeah I mean this is the this is the type of contrast we want to see in the season. And um, but I wouldn't expect less of us. Uh, you know, we're a young team. We need to get better every night. You left the floor there a little bit at the end of the first quarter. What what happened? And were you mm -hmm. worried you weren't able to get back on the game? Or yeah, I was hit. I was just hitting the knee yeah. pretty hard. So, but it, it wasn't. You know, it was. I was hit on the bone, so it just hurts. But you know, nothing bad. And uh, the only reason I couldn't get bad, couldn't get back immediately in the game, is because when like. When you when you you have pain, like the muscle don't respond as good, so you need to wake up a little bit gotcha. to avoid you know danger. Did you hear the crowd cheering as you walked back yeah, through the tunnel? Of course. This might be. A, do you remember Willis Reed, or have you ever heard of Willis Reed? I have, and I don't know what he looks like, but yeah, he had one of those moments in the finals. Oh, he did. <laughs> didn't know. Yeah. A little different situation. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, one guy scores 60. The other team, you had yeah. 40 and 20. The game goes overtime. Very high intensity back and forth game. Th these are the type of games that you thought about playing in and hope to play more of. Of course, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, we see. You know, I've seen. I've never seen so much greatness before. You, you know, it's, the season has been going on for just some some months, and uh, I've just been. I've just I've just witnessed so much greatness, that, and uh, I want to be a part of it. You know. Um, I always wanted to, but more and more, seeing that I'm already able to compete with those guys, and uh, you know, I'm I'm not, you know, I'm not near, but I'm uh, I'm, not, I'm on the right path. I know it, and uh, I'm gonna get there one day soon. Vic, I think you're the. Go ahead. Are you happy to pay for the basketball? Sorry. The crowd, are you gonna pay for the basketball you threw into the crowd? Nah. <laughs> Some, somebody else is gonna is going to win. He's gonna pay. <laughs> I think you're the youngest player, Vic, in NBA history to go for 40 and 20 in a game. Even if you're not, it's just the latest in the first time. You know, Vic has done something for the first time since such and such. If you can just kind of take us through continuing to, I know that's not the goal, but yeah. just continuing to hit markers like that. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not the goal, but it's, you know, it's uh, it's not the goal, but it's, it still shows you know, it still shows things. You know, it still shows uh, progression and uh, you know um, progress. I mean, so it's um, yeah. The more of those accolades I can get, the the more I will get. And uh, so it's um, of course it's it's also one of my you know convictions to be always unique and uh, and different and do do things never seen before. Good. Right. Uh, Victor, c'est la première fois de la saison que vous gagnez uh, trois matchs d'affilée. En plus, ce nouveau record en pour toi, le, le match est intense, enfin, il y a un beau scénario. Est-ce que tu dirais que c'est ton uh, meilleur match de la saison, de cette manière Et qu'est-ce que ça dit de votre évolution collective et de, de la tienne 
J'y avais pas pensé sous cette forme, mais euh, ouais, possiblement. J'ai pas vu mes stats encore, mais euh, ah ouais. <rire> mais euh, bah, peut-être à voir, ça à vous de me dire après. Mais en tout cas, c'est une, une, une de nos très bonnes victoires collectives. Ouais. Et j'espère en avoir d'autres comme ça avant la fin de saison. Et sur la progression, j'ai ouais, euh, Pour compléter ce que disait un petit peu Hector, tu es devenu le quatrième rookie de, euh, à faire 40 points, 20 rebonds, 5 passes, et le premier depuis 1974. Euh, Qu'est-ce que ça représente pour toi Et redire un petit peu en français ce que tu disais à Hector, euh, le fait de marquer l'histoire. Euh, mm -hmm. euh, dans quelle mesure pour toi c'est important euh, Qu'est-ce que ça représente oh, Ça fait longtemps déjà, 74, 50 ans. Euh... Qu'est-ce que ça représente bah J'ai une certaine fierté à, à, faire, à faire des choses qui sont nouvelles ou, ou essayer enfin voilà, de remplir mon, mon CV aussi. Et euh, c'est toujours quelque chose que j'essaie de faire, voilà, d'être différent, unique et euh, voilà, marquer, marquer les gens aussi.